Okay. Option number four. From this position here, Adam is on his back. I am mounted on him. Okay, I straighten his gi up. He starts to escape. I slide and lift. When I slide and lift, I need to make sure I'm low and tight. Make sure that this hand is underneath the armpit nice and tight. Very, very good choke. It works. The, the success ratio in this choke is awesome. This hand grabs the lapel and punches it to the ground. This other hand goes underneath him and I go cheek to cheek with him nice and tight. And I put my thumb in and fingers out. All right? This choke is all about posture. I'm going to reach out as far as I can close to his elbow and take it behind his neck. It's almost like a guillotine. I'm chopping off his head. The secret to this choke is posturing. Not to try to choke it down here, but just posture. All right, so let's review that one more time. Once I get to this position right here, I punch. Feed as tight as I can, thumb in, fingers out. Reach out and give somebody a high five. Bring it all the way behind his head. Now I posture up, and there it is. All right, alternatively, if he doesn't have a gi and I have a gi on, I stick my hand all the way through and grab my lapel, excuse me, my sleeve into the Ezekiel choke. If you got big fat fingers, three fingers will do. If not, four fingers. Try not to do two fingers, that may hurt you. So I'm gonna do three fingers because my fingers are fat. So look, I reach out and give somebody a high five, pull it nice and tight to his neck, go right in front of his nose, scrape his nose behind his neck and then guillotine him again. This position, the most important part is posturing up. Two options for the choke.